Alright, I'm back for part two of the Poison Ivy, Mi Poison Ivy Marvel character. I'm gonna work on doing the makeup. This includes the eyeshadow, the lips, and whatever else needs to be filled in. A lot of Poison Ivy Marvel characters are portrayed with uh, red lips, but the majority of them are portrayed with green lips. And I do not own any green lipstick. It's just not in style right now. Um, so I could make green lipstick if I wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and since my face is really dark green, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a red lipstick. Um, I am not living in the 80s, so I don't own any, like, crazy red lipstick. I'm really not a lipstick fan. I just wear chapstick. So we're going to look through my uh, makeup drawer and see what kind of lipstick I own. Um, none. No. I'm going to try and use a little red and maybe pink. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to try and find a little bit of lip liner just because I know that's how the proper way to do it. Um, let's see. I don't really even have lip liner. If you don't have eyeliner or lip liner, one thing you can do that I learned in middle school is you can take a colored pencil, get it wet, and use it. Um, let's find one to match the lipstick. Whoa! Don't touch your face. These are the two closest colors I have, a magenta and a red. So I'm going to go with the magenta just because my lipstick's a little more pinky than actually original red. So let's see how this goes. I always just lick the pencil. Is that gross? thing about doing this, even though it's really weird, is that you can get lip liner and eyeliner in any color you want, even if it's blue or orange, and you don't have to pay for it, you just have to pay like for colored pencils. Guys, I don't do this normally, I really don't. <laughs> I, obviously I don't use lip liner. Anyways, lip liner is on, colored pencils on. Here's your lipstick. You can tell I never use lipstick. It's still perfect. Here's your lipstick. And now I'm gonna gloss it over. I decided to use these. Do you know how long it took me to put on these fake eyelashes? Forever. If you know a particular brand of fake eyelashes that is easy to put on or um, good instructions or something like that, please let me know. I would like to work more with them. Easier. So after you've put on your fake eyelashes, make sure you do some touch up with the green around these areas because it's likely that you've touched your face so much that you've rubbed some off. I know I've got green all over my hands now. This really has done a number on your eyes. You've got a lot more volume in your eyelashes, obviously. Your leaves are starting to do stuff. You might want to do some touch-ups or you can wait for later. Also, I found that the glue for the eyelashes is super. As always, when working with eyeshadow, you want to start with the 
top area first and work your way down and out and you want to work with your lighter colors first I'm also gonna go use a white color to brighten it right by the leaves and on the inside of the eye this is difficult to do with the eyelashes on but I didn't want the eyelashes to stick to the makeup I'm going to do the inside of the eye right here with a very light light green this is from my Avon light 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 green Just taking it from the corner and moving it out and now we're going to use another light green that is a little bit darker more around the shade of my leaves more like an Easter green and put it in the middle now I'm gonna move on to the red so um, I have bronzy colors I'm gonna try to incorporate that as well one that's called sunset and the icing it's a little bronzy I'm gonna kind of surround the eye with it like this and bring it up My eyes are starting to water because of the makeup and the eyelashes. And it's mixing with the makeup and making the eyeliner. Oh, how lovely. So, now moving on to eyeliner. I know that I've already got eyelashes, so I really don't have to worry about the top. But the bottom, I wanted to do in bronze to enhance the bronze. So now just a little bit more eyeliner. I always use a chisel brush because chisel brushes give you a little more definition. I didn't touch my face way too much. And I just use powder. Now for the very, very last bottom mascara because my top's already got eyelashes. So there's my makeup and my leaves. Next video will be my hair, which I think you guys will love. So stay tuned for part three.